There's two different models that I'm testing. Wizard Coder 33B and Deep Seek Coder 7B. And I'll show you the Eval Plus leaderboard that we're going off. It's got Wizard Coder at number two of like the models that can code. It's 33 billion parameters. So it actually runs a lot slower than this one we're comparing it to, which is number six, Deep Seek Coder, um, which is probably worse, but it runs a lot faster on my uh, local computer. Nine hard lead code questions to challenge yourself in count of smaller numbers off itself you're given an array of nums you have to return a new array counts the counts array has the property where counts i is the number of smaller elements to the right of num so if nums is five two six one um the output should be two one one zero because there's two numbers smaller than five to the right of five there's one number smaller than two okay let's see how deep sea coder does on this um for reference we're running deep sea coder with 8000 context although it can do 1600 how many layers is it offloading lm studio i'm offloading 10 layers at the moment i think 10 layers and two cpu threads just because uh while i'm streaming i get a high computer load detected and it lags if i do anything more would be interesting to see their time complexity difference yeah so there's a couple of things we can test out is time complexity and how like how fast it is. So deep sea coder is pretty good. Like I think I get somewhere from like three to seven tokens a second. Uh, whereas wizard coder is like half a token a second um, from my previous testing. So what's that difference? Like almost a 14 times difference, like a six to 14 times difference. Is deep sea using GGUF? Yeah, all my models are GGUF. All right, we're going to test these two and then get maybe chat GPT four to kind of look and compare the two outputs can, can gpt4 calculate the complexity of this example so okay let's ask the same question to wizard coder all right now we're gonna have to wait like 20 minutes for wizard coder <laughs> to get this working see as i said it's like half a token a second but theoretically it should be a better solution so we'll see we're going to compare um two different code solutions from this is from wizard coder and we also have one from deep seek coder as you can see deep seek coder produced much smaller amounts of code for this hard leak code question but i'm going to ask chat gpt to kind of compare the two solutions and see which one's better on paper and according to the benchmarks um wizard coder should be better and it's done a lot of code so maybe it that's true but if if deep sea coder gets a working solution with just you know like 30 lines of code that'd be very impressive so i don't know let's ask chat gpt you are a senior software engineer rating and reviewing an applicant's code test the test question was and the applicant submission code is this all right so this is we'll first give a deep sea coder grade their code on correctness and give a complexity score and also run the code with some test cases i want i think you should be able to run the code with um the interpreter mode so let's see how it goes and uh, here we go and it's actually executing the code now with some test cases which is great so the correctness uh, inflammation of this tree, binary tree is correct. This data structure is appropriate for the problem. The separation of concerns is well maintained. The time complexity is n log n. Space complexity is O of n. Readability is good, well structured, it's robust. And uh, now it's testing it. So let's see how the test cases go. Oh, uh, the test cases revealed some issues. So 5261 five, should have returned 2110, but the code returned 01. Ah, so you see, it's actually the so deep sea coder produced code that looked great, had a great time complexity, had the right idea, used the right uh, method, but achieved the wrong answer. So deep sea coder got a grade B from ChatGPT4. So let's do the same thing with the wizard coder's code. So the wizard coder produced way more lines of code, but maybe that's what's required to make actually working code. So let's see what ChatGPT thinks about wizard coder. So they've used a segment tree, which apparently is efficiently managing straightforward. Variable names are clear. Algorithm com correctly implements logic. The time complexity is n log n and space complexity is on. So same as deep sea coder, same complexity and code handles duplicates using a hash table. 
However, it might not be able to handle edge cases like an empty input array or a very large input. They're going to run analysis with some test cases. The nature of LLMs is kind of unpredictable. So like every output is kind of different. Um, so it kind of be worth like running this a few times and getting the average of like multiple opinions, I, I, I think. Error analyzing. Oh, looks like the code doesn't even run. What's going to happen if the tree is not handling the case where a node left or right node is null? Maybe it was in this case. But now, now are they editing the code? It looks like we'll modify range query method. Yeah, looks like they are actually going to be modifying the code just to get it working. So that's interesting. So deep sea coders code actually didn't return any errors, but the output was wrong. Nice. So we actually got the correct output with the first test and the third test is correct. Okay. So wizard coder actually provided, um, working a working solution. If you ignore the bug with the none. So let's just say, please provide the code diff. So let's see what, cause so ChatGPT actually had to edit the code itself to make it working. Let's see the code difference. Yeah, so if there is no root, if there's root total is zero, so an empty array. So there was a bit of error handling that was missing, but other than that, it was better than, and the results were that both of them produced sound looking code with the great approach, but um, in the case of deep sea coder, the solution was actually wrong. The results were wrong. Um, and in the case of wizard coder, there was one error with one error handling case that they didn't address. But other than that, they actually got a working solution that, um, returned the correct answer for all the test cases. So yeah, it's obvious wizard coder is a better coder, but, um, it just takes, it's just a lot slower to run on your local machine. So if you have a lot of time, wizard coder is probably the way forward, or if you have great hardware. So that's another um, thing is my computer is about three years old. Um, so it's not the latest GPU. It's a 2080 Ti, which is like two generations old at least. So I'm sure if you had like a 4080 Ti or if that even exists, a 4080, that would be a lot better.